The first component in your sprinkler system is the anti-siphon valve. Water is brought to your property under pressure from a city main line. It then enters a cross connection with one pipe supplying water for the home and the other for irrigation. Just after this connection on the irrigation pipe, you'll find the anti-siphon valve. An anti-siphon valve is a combination valve and atmospheric backflow preventer, which means it serves two functions. It protects the drinking water by preventing water in the irrigation system lines from back siphoning into your home, and because it's a valve, it's responsible for holding water under pressure for your irrigation system. Water is held under pressure behind each anti-siphon valve. When it receives an electronic signal from the irrigation controller, the valve opens, allowing water to pass through to the sprinklers. The number of anti-siphon valves on your property depends on the size of your yard. You may someday need to operate one of these valves manually, for instance to check a sprinkler or in case of a power outage. If so, find the valve you wish to operate and locate the valve solenoid. That's the cylinder with the wires attached to it. Slowly turn the solenoid 90 degrees counterclockwise, approximately one quarter turn. Then wait a few seconds until you hear water rushing through the valve. To close the valve, turn the solenoid clockwise until it's hand tight. The water will take a few moments to stop. The anti-siphon valve includes Rainbird's unique flow control stem. Rising from the center of the valve, this unit will help you maintain the proper water flow for better sprinkler performance and water conservation. The stem was adjusted to meet the needs of your property when your system was installed. But if there's been a significant change in water pressure, you may notice certain problems. If the water pressure is too high, the sprinklers may begin misting or throwing too far. Too little pressure, and the sprinklers won't properly water their area of coverage. To decrease the water flow, turn the flow control stem clockwise. To increase the flow, Turn the stem counterclockwise. In an emergency, you can turn off the sprinklers from any particular valve by turning the valve's flow control stem clockwise until it's hand tight. If you ever need to shut off the water from entering your irrigation system, turn off the shutoff valve located upstream of all your anti-siphon valves. You should always do this before working on any sprinkler pipes or valves that hold water under pressure.